Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video and the very last video before I come back from Colorado. So that means the next video you guys see on this channel will be back to CSGO News and I'm very happy to be back. I'm ready to be back after a week off. So I hope you all enjoy this episode where I'm going to talk about CSGO gameplay and the dying arena of CSGO ad revenue in terms of YouTube. I want to go talk about gambling as well. I'll talk about future sponsorships. So if this is not your type of video, feel free to click away guys. Kind of just an overall update video on why CSGO ad revenue specifically is dying out on YouTube. Now, First off, huge thanks to Hoongun Gagne. I always call him that. He was actually one of the first streamers I ever watched on CSGO. I'll put a screenshot of him on the screen for all of you and link his Twitch channel down below. He also does YouTube videos as well. One of the very first Twitch streamers I actually watched in the game of CSGO. An overall great guy, a guy who has never gambled on his channel and never done really anything wrong in my eyes. So please check him out if you guys want to. Also makes really funny content here on YouTube. And he made a video a, a while ago actually talking about CSGO YouTube ad revenue being down. He gave his reasons for that and I'm kind of replying to that video and kind of telling all of you guys why ad revenue is down potentially for a new reason on my channel so this might include other people out there other content creators like sparkles or maybe mr. tweet day himself um, but it also does include my content if you guys realize this um, a long time ago we had the ad apocalypse here on YouTube on top of uh, all those ad sponsors going away from YouTube and not wanting to sponsor videos like mine or specific content out there on top of that I kind of realized something the fact was that every single video I upload which is CSGO news I have gameplay in the background where people are literally shooting and killing and stabbing each other and all of a sudden it made a lot of sense to me why I was not getting the ad revenue that I used to um, when I when, when I made RuneScape videos three years ago I was actually making more on RuneScape videos that were getting like one tenth of the views than I was now with CSGO news and all of a sudden it started to make a lot more sense. Of course, there's other advertisers out there that just, just won't come back and they won't pay top dollar anymore because they realize they don't have to. But on top of that, it kind of clicked in my head. I realize now that no advertiser is going to want to put ads on a video like mine because apparently, you know, to the general eye, from someone who's outside of CSGO, it looks like mature content. It looks like, okay, people are killing each other and that's the background footage. So that also might be a reason why ad revenue is down so low. But I also wanted to talk about future with gambling sponsors, things of the sorts. As many of you know, I haven't had a gambling sponsor now for over the past month. The last time I did was with Wild Case, I believe, and it was actually just a, a kind of a fun video to make. But I wanted to kind of reiterate the point that I don't don't want to make gambling videos. Yes, the money is nice, but I think most YouTubers out there would prefer to not make a gambling video. Usually it does hurt your sub count, it hurts your view count, and it, hope, it hurts your overall impression of your viewers on yourself. So I, I would hope to believe that many gamblers out there, um, you know, people like Anomaly, people like Sparkles, don't want to make gambling videos. I myself hate them because, especially on a smaller channel like my own, it really does hurt to upload those kind of videos. You know, I see a rising sub count, I'm, I get excited, and all of a sudden I have to sell out for a video to, to make a payment here or there the money is is kind of you know it's nice I'm not gonna lie to you guys and that hurts so I don't want to make gambling videos and that's why I haven't for quite some time I think overall on my channel I have I have three gambling videos total I took the gambling sponsorship with CSGO Empire for a long time, had intros for them, and got rid of that because the intros do hurt your view count, which I care about most, especially, I hope you guys understand that, I don't know if you guys do, but I wanted to talk about future sponsorships, as many of you probably realized on these last few videos and few months, I've been trying to do trading website sponsorships because they pay a decent amount of money, and they also don't take away from my view count, and they really don't hurt your impression of my channel. The only person on the channel who can now hurt hurt your thoughts about me are myself. Only I can make the mistakes now. You don't go into my videos and see a gambling sponsor and think, oh, I hate Jake automatically. I have to make you hate me by saying something stupid, which I just might in the future. But that's kind of the future of things. I'm actually, I think I'm currently uh, right now in contact with this big sponsor out there for a long-term sponsor for the next 30 days. And I'm very thankful for that. And so, um, you know, overall, thank you to all of you guys who have stuck around through this ad apocalypse. I am still making way more than I probably should be. This is a side job to me. I am going to college, so I'm double majoring in marketing and management, so I really can't work a full-time job. So YouTube's been a great side job. Along that streaming, I'm gonna try daily streaming again, and that's great because you guys support me so much, like not only viewer-wise, but also through donations, and I really do appreciate that. So the future, for the next year, I want you guys to know I probably will have a gambling sponsor, but 
probably not more than one, uh, maybe two at the very most, and that's for the next 12 months. But I want my, I will try my best, I promise you guys, I will try my best to stick it out with a CSGO trading site, something that's not gonna interfere with the content itself. But I am so excited for this next year. We just recently broke 75,000 subscribers. Thank you all for that. And I, I really just can't wait for the future, what it actually holds on this channel. We have some great content coming. I'm gonna try and do at least three streams every single week for CSGO News, uh, just talking about rumors, speculation, reacting to videos, reacting to you guys, getting to know you more, interacting. I love the live streaming atmosphere. So I know this video has been kind of all over the place. I just wanted to let you guys know my future with sponsors is hopefully going to stray away from gambling. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a great school year. I'm going to be graduating college though, so I'll be pretty busy, but I'm going to make time for YouTube as well as streaming and just overall for you guys. So if you could do me a favor, leave a like, more importantly, leave a comment on this video, what you guys think for the future. Leave me some video ideas. Leave me some feedback constructively, what I can do to change the channel and make it more appealing to all of you. As always, live, love, laugh, lot. My name is Jake. Remember, I like you. I will see you all in a couple days, finally back from Colorado with CSGO News. Thank you all for enjoying this week of break. I had a big old break and I'm glad to be back. Oh, and one last thing, very important. Thanks again to World Gaming. Their link will be down below. They're hosting a $90,000 tournament in Canada, but for all of you guys who actually want to apply, it's $5 per person. Super cheap entry fees. It's online qualifiers, so you can come from all around the world, guys, and the finalists will actually be flown out to Toronto, Canada to the Cineplex for that. So their link is down below, guys. They sponsored this video and several others as well, so big shouts to them. A $90,000 tournament, online qualifiers, $25 per team. So it's super cheap entry fees, online qualifiers for all of you guys who want to grab a group of friends and get together and try it out. Please do guys, my sign up link is down below. So huge thanks to them and I will see you guys all very soon.